okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thanks so much for supporting the channel so we're going to go ahead and get a general message for my virgos that are dealing with an earth sign that's a virgo taurus or a capricorn now this is a general message take the parts that resonate leave the rest anybody interested in a personal reading my information is always down below thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel okay so let's jump into this what do we have for my virgos that are dealing with another earth sign thank you spirit oh at the bottom of the deck we have you are good enough virgo all right so give me a card for now and a card for going forward first one oh we have two okay so your first one is look at the bigger picture and then you have going forward we have it's time to take action Oh, and then we have step out of your comfort zone. Okay, so and your commitment is being tested. All right, so someone here may be in hermit mode with that step out of your comfort zone. But going forward, Spirit says once someone here has the information they need, once someone here can see the bigger picture in a situation, hey, it's time to take action. As a part of the deck, I have mature man and main female. So what is this for my Virgos dealing with another earth sign? Now, some of you could be dealing with someone that you have children with. Do you know what else I just heard? I just heard that some of you, um, maybe you find that someone you have children with, maybe you find that situation is too much work or it's hard work or um, I don't know if someone is always paying out for something here or somebody feels like they have to work really hard to provide for children because I saw the child card. But we have the poverty card here now. So let's see. Hmm. For someone here, someone may want to relocate, but maybe finance is an issue. Okay, now that's interesting that I saw that. Um, some of you that you may have somebody around you who is experiencing some kind of change or some kind of hardship here. Um, but let's see. Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a card for now, a card for going forward. It came back out anyway, the poverty card. And we have the occupation. Yeah, I feel like someone may be stressed at work here. Um, we have mature woman at the bottom of the deck, message of concern. Okay, so let's see, going forward, it's time to take action. We have main male. Too many. And then that mature man wanted to come out again. And then you have the lovers. So. You don't want to keep all of them. Okay, we'll see why they're here. Some of you, you could be dealing with two male energies. It doesn't have to be. It could be the same energy of the same person. For some of you, I'm hearing that whoever this is, male or female, right? Someone here may have matured here. Um. Definitely someone seems to be interested or wants some kind of victory in a relationship with someone, with the lovers, okay? Okay. Um, okay. So for some of you, this may be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. Let's get some cards. <laughs> My Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. What do we have? What are we getting stuck on? Retreat. What is this energy for Virgo? That may be dealing with romance. Okay, I'm seeing reconciliation, but I also saw free yourself. So someone may have to free themselves from something. Let go of control issues. I don't know. There's someone here maybe dealing with someone who is controlling. 
Okay, a lot of cards. Retreat in the reverse. A lot of cards here, Spirit. So we have it's safe for you to love. It says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You have calling in your soulmate. It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Why do I feel like somebody may have been trying to manifest somebody in, but maybe not in the right way? Um, you have retreat. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. But it was in the reverse. So somebody here hasn't disconnected from something. So again, it may be causing a delay in something for someone here. Show me going forward. <laughs> I'll just get one card. Oh, that was two. It says healing family issues. It says your love life benefits. It says you forgive your parents. And then you also have worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. Just one card going forward. Thank you, Spirit. I <laughs> just want one. <laughs> it almost feels like someone has a lot to say. You know that energy of kind of like catch up. But, um... You have pay attention to the red flags, the signs of caution in you. Okay, so I almost wanted to say Gemini. I don't know if somebody has to watch out for a Gemini. It doesn't have to be, right? This is Virgos that is dealing with another earth sign. But there could be a third party influence somewhere. We do have two men out here. All right. So what is this for my Virgos dealing with another earth sign? Thank you, Spirit. Poverty and occupation. Okay. Yeah, there's this energy of needing to release something, needing to move to calmer waters here. Um, somebody could be around or was around a compulsive liar or somebody who was in competition with them or somebody who kind of wanted to win. Um, it is giving that energy here. Six of Swords. Oh. In the reverse, the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. This could have, I don't know if there was some issues here around your finances or a work situation here, Virgos. Um, Ten of Swords in the reverse. For some of you, it kind of feels like somebody may want to undo some kind of betrayal. What is the Six of Swords? Now, for some of my Virgos, if you, I do see like, you know, if you have been experiencing some kind of poverty or a lack of here, um, you know, with that six of swords, she's kind of sailing into the sun, right? I feel like for some of you, um, that energy is going to shift here if it's around your work. And like I said, you feel like you're struggling financially here. You have the Knight of Wands coming out here, which talks about fast or quick action here. It's also a very passionate action. But the Knight of Wands is also a very non-committal action here. So let's see why it's here. Six of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Now the Eight of Swords talks about a mental prison here. Ah, oh, okay. A false sense of entrapment here for someone. So I don't know if this is someone feels like they can't move forward or, you know, it's just kind of in their head here. But that Six of Swords says, yes, you can. And that Eight of Swords says, there isn't nothing really stopping you here apart from your own thoughts. What is this Knight of Wands? The Ace of Wands, yes. But we now have the Two of Wands here. So again, you know, somebody needs to make a decision. You know, are you going to go after whatever this brand new beginning is, this opportunity for some of you? Again, you know, this may be a new work opportunity here. Maybe an earth sign is a new boss or something like that here. But this is something happening fast. Clarify the six of swords, and but somebody's holding back. Yeah. And because of there's that five of swords. There was some underhanded behavior here. Somebody wasn't honest about something. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Somebody didn't tell the truth. And for some of you, it feels like, I don't know, they they choose to kind of stay in this energy of just watching here with the Page of Swords. What is the Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords? 
My Virgo's dealing with another earth sign. Thank you. The four of wands. What's the four of wands? Okay. <laughs> Page of cups. Now, the four of wands could just be saying that, hey, maybe this person just wants to visit you at your home. I am definitely, yeah, but look at that. It's right there. You know, I was going to say I'm picking up soulmate energy, but, um, you know, the four of wands could just be that somebody wants to visit you at your home. I don't know if you are married to this person with the four of wands or they see some kind of union with you here. But the page of cups, it talks about an apology. So what are they apologizing about? Page of cups. Uh, Virgos, I don't know if you intimidate somebody here or <laughs> what's the page of cups? The page of swords and the knight of swords. Uh, and that's the two of swords. You know, someone could be angry about something that they're seeing, hearing. I don't know. Page of swords, knight of swords. Or there's an air sign that may be involved. What is this knight of wands and the ace of wands? The queen of cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. But the Queen of Cups is someone who is very loving, who is very caring here. But let's see. What is this Queen of Cups energy? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse with the Temperance in the reverse. And we have a Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if there's a fire sign involved in this situation. Look at that, the five of wands that likes to cause some kind of conflict in this, um, whatever this dynamic is. Oh, and maybe a king of swords as well. I did say I picked up an air sign. So there could be several people involved in a situation here. I don't know if this queen of wands likes to dabble in some kind of dark magic or something like that. Um, the four of swords here. Hmm. Kind of feels like somebody wanted to lay something to rest or somebody's very much seeing something that four of swords you know the four of swords to me can be very much a meditation energy where um you kind of go into your mind when you're alone right especially at night the four of swords but someone may be heartbroken about something or about some kind of lie do you know what i, I don't know if this is about a death four of swords this person just doesn't look alive um but the queen of cups with the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the temperance in the reverse here now, usually the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can usually be someone who, I want to say, who may be also struggling financially, may not be stable here. But it could also be that someone here is not single. But with the Temperance in the reverse, it kind of gives me the energy of um, somebody not balanced, somebody not at peace, somebody, you know, they don't have harmony in their life. It's like, you know, their life ain't tempered. And I'm also hearing, okay... This Queen of Cups may be a hater. Um, let, let me just, let me just, I don't know how she fits in here. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Show me more about this Queen of Cups. The lovers, okay. So someone may just see you as very loving and very caring, right? But I don't know why the Nine of Pentacles came out reversed. Let me just see. I almost was going to say, unless there's a third party situation, you know, maybe somebody that someone works with, maybe this Queen of Cups wants to be with somebody or with you, Virgos, I don't know. So we have. Okay, well, it just says that the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is just someone who is determined um, not to go through life single, okay? So maybe someone here with the Queen of Cups, maybe someone is seeing here, Virgos, that you haven't given up on love. I don't know if that was their intentions. Um, sh show me more. What is it? It's time to take action. We have the Empress coming out. We have the Hanged Man. 
We have the Seven of Cups. What is the Hangman energy? We have the Emperor in the reverse. This is somebody not taking action. Um, you know, the Emperor in the reverse can be someone who is very controlling. I mean, it could just be someone who maybe lacks confidence or um, is maybe lacking leadership or... Um, but someone here is stuck. Now, the Emperor is Aries and Taurus energy. So I don't know if somebody here is confused about an Aries. We have Aries energy out here. But the Emperor in the reverse can sometimes be a narcissist. And the Seven of Cups talks about confusion and illusion here. Tower at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Pentacles. What is the Empress and the Seven of Cups? The Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. Show me more for the Seven of Cups. Because it is, it's giving me... Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. We, <laughs> do you know what it's... All right, give me one more on the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Coins. The Five of Wands. Thank you. All right, so it kind of feels to me here that someone here is definitely sitting in Empress energy, right? Someone here is very abundant here. Um, but it kind of feels to me like somebody is confused about why something is moving forward for someone. Maybe to do with their work here. Because you, then I ask why, you know. And then we have the five of wands. So the five of wands, it talks about competition. It talks about drama. It talks about, um, you know, arguments, fighting. Um, so I don't know if somebody wanted to delay something for this empress. And they, like I said, someone here is confused about why something is still moving. Because the eight of wands, it talks about fast movement forward. Show me more for this Seven of Cups, Eight of Coins, and the Eight of Wands. What are we getting stuck on? This King of Swords um, with this um, Knight of Swords here. So someone's angry here about something. Maybe about some kind of truth. I don't know. I don't know what you guys do for work. I don't know if someone said something that was the truth and now someone here is mad about it, right? Could be an air sign. But again, we still have this Emperor in the reverse over here. So let's see. What is the hangman and the emperor in the reverse? The nine of cups with the judgment. One more. Okay, so someone is seeing something as wish fulfillment here, but the judgment is here. It talks about making a final decision here. And then we have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Strength card. So this is getting confusing. There's too many people here, um, Virgos. It feels like there's a lot of people that tried to play their hand in something. But again, you know, that energy of too many cooks spoil the broth. So the universe could be calling judgment on something. And the way they could be calling judgment on that is by revealing the truth here about something. We have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Strength card. There's someone here has walked away from a situation. And yeah, and look at that, the devil. And then there's someone here who is obsessed, who wants to hold on, looks like to you, Virgos. Nine of Pentacles here. Anything else? Two of Cups coming out sideways. So as some of you do have a choice, you know, main male, mature man. Two of Cups. Why is that here? The Ten of Coins. And the three of wands. And the seven of coins. See, it kind of feels to me that Virgos, for some of you, whatever relationship or whatever you invest in, whether it's business or whatever, you know, whatever you invest in here, it's going to grow. It's going to be long term here, whether that's relationship or like I said, finances. And some of you know this, right? And this is why or somebody else knows this. And this is why there's this maybe kind of a I almost wanted to say a rush. 
to maybe claim you, take it how it resonates, you know. This could be you towards somebody. Let's get the advice. I just heard that someone here wants to take action towards you, but they're kind of, I don't know if they're kind of watching someone else that wants to take action towards you, which would give me the indication that these people know each other. Um, okay. One card for advice. The advice, take it, leave it. It's just advice, guys. What are we getting stuck on, Spirit? Communication. Mm. you have be spontaneous there's that it's time to take action here or well, somebody wants you to be spontaneous look at this woman she's kind of just all curled up in that shell and the first thing it, it made me think of is that a lot of my virgos you may just be like in your home very much in hermit mode um oh i'm hearing that song <laughs> okay oh no i'm hearing I'm hearing I'm sexy and I know it, okay? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> All right. Yeah, some of you may just be in relaxation energy, right? Where you're just not really kind of um, anything bother you too deep. And then, then you have someone here that wants to come towards you. For some of you with that empress energy, yes, absolutely. You see this gentleness and then right behind it, abundance. Somebody sees you in this empress energy. Look at that. Move forward. They want to come towards you. But for some of you, this may be somebody that you've already let go here. So let's get one from Archangel Michael and let's end this reading. I'm hearing for someone here, if you're confused about something, they're saying, look at who the stuck one is. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you. Ooh, number seven. So it says change is coming, transformation here. It says, I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. It says, this is a time of joyous opportunities. The Empress with the Seven of Cups, with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles for some of you business looks good. So congratulations on that one. Um, but Virgos, that's what I have for you. If you are dealing with another Earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to, subscribe to the channel. But if this is where we part, stay safe, love and light, guys.